guys. I hope that everyone enjoyed their Memorial Day weekend. And sorry that this video is a little bit late. It was due to the holiday. I definitely took some time off to enjoy and relax. So today I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my updated skincare routine. Some of you may know that I am pregnant and I am about five and a half months along. So feeling great, but with pregnancy, a lot happens with your skin. So your hormones fluctuate, your skin can get more reactive, more oily, or it can even move to the opposite end of the spectrum. It can become more dry, which is actually what's happened to me. So I really try to be diligent with my skincare routine, especially now since I am expecting. And I wanted to go through a typical skincare routine for day and night for anyone also out there that is pregnant and that is going through hormonal changes emotionally, physically on their skin. Um, I think that these products that I'm going to introduce to you are really wonderful safe bets that comfort and nourish your skin during this wonderful and special time in your life. So, okay, so let's begin. So I'm gonna start with just going through my everyday morning routine. And honestly, what I've learned is to keep it simple. So it's not about using 10 different products that's actually going to potentially create more reactive skin. So the more simple that you can keep your skincare routine while pregnant, the better. So when I first start off, I actually cleanse and I didn't, where did I put it? Where is my little drunk elephant? I'll be right back, pregnancy break. Okay, resuming. Okay, so I kind of like forgot the most important part is the cleansing routine. So <laughs> I just ran into the bathroom and I grabbed my pecky bar from Drunk Elephant. I've done a review on this before. I can link it down below. This is my all-time favorite cleanser. It's great for all seasons. I started using this actually last winter before I even found out I was pregnant. And what I noticed is it regulated my skin nicely. It hydrated my skin and it effectively cleansed. So this is the bar. It's actually, I've probably had this since, ugh, I don't know, maybe December. So early December, maybe even earlier. I can't even remember. But I've been using this every day and I use it morning and night. So I'll start with dampening my skin and then lathering this up between my hands and then just massaging it onto the skin. I'll do this morning and at night, what I do is I'll double cleanse. This is pretty good at removing light makeup, but for more heavy duty makeup, I either double cleanse or what I'll do is I'll run a hot washcloth or a warm washcloth underwater. And then once I have the soap on, I just use the washcloth to gently buff out. You can even use a Conjac sponge in combination with this and it'll do the same thing. So it'll kind of exfoliate and lift off the makeup that's a little bit heavier. So I really love this. This contains honey, blueberry extract, glycerin, I believe, and it's super gentle and it's not hard on my nose. So I'm very sensitive to scents and this literally has little to no scent. So it's really, really wonderful. So I'll start the day off with that. Then I will follow with Anjalu Naturals Day Cream. Now this is the Coconut Water Day Cream. I love this for several different reasons. It's hydrating, it's silky, it's plumping and rejuvenating without feeling greasy on my skin. So what I noticed first when I became pregnant is that my skin became actually much more dry, which is unusual for me because I'm typically combination to oily even as we move into the summer, like right now I feel like I would be getting much more shine, but my skin is actually a little bit more balanced to dry. So this is super lightweight, yet it does a beautiful job at just restoring firmness and making the skin feel supple and hydrated without feeling greasy. So um, this one actually contains prickly pear cactus, which is great for uh, nourishing and smoothing. And it really just brings back the vitality into the skin. And what I really love about this is that the first two ingredients, instead of just being water, are aloe vera and coconut water, okay? So the coconut water and aloe vera are just like a thirsty, quick hydration boost to your skin. So if your skin is thirsty and you're looking for instant vitality and moisture without the heaviness, this is a really great product. So a couple additional products too, there's kernel, um, extract which is apricot i believe there's argan oil vitamin c white tea um, fruit stem cells it's a really beautiful fruit blend of antioxidants as well and it's great if you have sensitive skin okay so i would actually recommend this for all skin types whether you are oily normal 
um, to even slightly dry. This is really great because it does a great job at nourishing without feeling heavy on the skin. Okay, so this is what I apply and I apply about one to one and a half pumps in the morning right after cleansing. Okay, by the way, this doesn't have any SPF in it. So if you are wearing SPF, just make sure you layer it right on top of this before you proceed with makeup. Okay, so next up for my morning routine is an eye cream. Now, I chose a contouring radiant eye cream because in the coming months, once the baby's here, I'm going to be running on little to no sleep, most likely, or actually, definitely. <laughs> so I actually discovered this brand that was sent to me. It's called Patika Paris, and it's an organic line, same as Andalou Naturals. And this one's really nice because it's a lifting, firming eye cream. And what I love about this is that it actually has maca, or excuse me, mica powder. Mica powder actually gives the under eye area a re nice reflective quality because it kind of gives that nice glow. So mica is what you find in a lot of blushes or eyeshadows that give it that shimmer. This is definitely much more subtle, but it really adheres to like a nice radiant immediate finish around the eyes. It also contains floral water, cornflower for floral water. Hexapeptide 11. Peptides are really great for firming the under eye area. Um, and it also helps to revitalize with sesame oil. So it's hydrating, it's firming, nourishing. And I feel like it's actually cutting down on my under eye darkness as well. So I will use about a half a pump to one pump of this and I'll apply it along my ring finger and I'll just tap it underneath my eyes and on top of my lids. It dries within like five minutes, so it's really great underneath uh, concealer and really helps to glide concealer on more smoothly and more evenly. Okay, so that's from Patika Paris. And then I'm gonna move on to a product that I use either day or night, it just really depends. This one is also from Andalou Naturals. It's their Lemon Sugar Facial Scrub. This stuff is awesome, okay? So not only does it smell like lemon, it's a very subtle lemon scent. Once again, it's not overly abrasive as far as um, scent goes. So you're not gonna smell like this artificial lemon scent. It's actually much more natural. And it almost has a hint of like floral. I smell floral scents in here. And then also too, there's Manuka honey in here, which you can kind of smell as well. So that's the texture of it. And basically it looks like a gel. And what I do is I apply about a dollop onto my fingertip and then I massage it over damp skin and I really circulate it. So this has really helped to slough off any dead skin cells or any kind of flakiness I have um, because I'm a little extra dry. This is actually a scrub that's clarifying, so it's especially great too if you're oily or have combination skin, and you could use this two to three times a week. So this is a really wonderful product. I even use it sometimes down on my neck, and it just feels like a little mini spa treatment. It repairs damaged cells, it brightens the skin, illuminates, and it has super fruit antioxidants throughout. So really great product. So it's Meyer lemon, vitamin C, and Manuka honey. It's perfect for summer, and you could use this once again two to three times a week. Okay, so I love this one, and I'll do that one day or night. The next product that I have is another product from Andalou Organics, which I have fallen in love with. I really love how gentle and effective their products are. This is their Thousand Roses Rose Water Mask, and this just smells divine. And what I love about it is it's like a subtle, rosy scent, and when it goes on the skin, it feels super, super silky. It's almost as if there are silicones in here, but there are not. And the way that you would use this is you could use it once again, two to three times a week as a moisture booster. You would dampen your skin, towel off excess water, and apply about a dime size to a quarter size amount, thin layer all over the face. You would then leave it on for about 10 to 20 minutes, and then you would rinse off. My skin feels as smooth as a baby's butt after using this, and it also helps to allow my moisturizer or whatever I'm using on top to just kind of absorb better, work better for me, and keep my skin hydrated. And this is really great for every season. Um, and I love the fact that I could use this in the summer without my skin feeling greasy. So wonderful, wonderful product from Andalou Naturals. And the ingredients in here are, once again, the base is aloe juice, rose, cranberry juice, um, there's Alpine Rose, there's Panthenol and Vitamin E, the list goes on. So really amazing organic natural ingredients. And of course it's non-GMO and fair trade as well, extra bonus.
Okay, so the rose water mask I will actually use at night, just to clarify. Um, part of my nighttime routine, and once again, it's usually twice a week at night. And then after I finish the rose petal mask, I'm going to move on to my Pi Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Oil. And this is a wonderful oil. I did a review on this um, a couple months ago. No, I, I'd probably say about three months ago when I first got it, and I've been using it every night. I love the way this smells. Consider this your natural alternative to a retinol or retinoid treatment, okay? So if you're sensitive to retinoids and you're looking for something to brighten and smooth out the fine lines in your skin and even your overall skin tone plus diminish acne, this is it, okay? So it's the powerful natural rosehip oil that helps to do this. And what I'll simply do is I'll use about two to four drops at night pressed over my skin and I still wanna make sure that my skin is dampened when I use it. So this is how it looks like. It's a really beautiful kind of mid-weight oil. And it's not too rich, so it absorbs quickly, but it does leave my skin feeling super hydrated. So the smell is amazing. I could smell this all day. So if you love the smell of rose hip, you will love this, and it does a fantastic job. So I'll apply it on the face and the neck, and I'll use this every night after cleansing. This is a key staple in my evening routine. And it's lasted me so far so good. So this is about three to four months in. Okay, so last but not least, if there are occasional stubborn breakouts, I will use the Suki Transformative Purifying Mask. Now, I've been pretty lucky throughout my pregnancy. I haven't really broken out on my face, but sometimes on my back I'll get occasional breakouts just from sweating when I go to yoga, um, strap marks, like usually you break out if you have strap marks and you're sweating and you don't take a shower right away. I usually try to do that, but um, it's just my body reacting the way it wants to react. So with that being said, I use this mask not only as a spot treatment on the face if I need it, I will also use this to spot treat any area along my back and then I'll just leave it on overnight and really pretty much just leave it on until I shower the next time. What I like about this is it's a natural solution to salicylic acid. When you are pregnant, you're not supposed to use salicylic acid. So this is a great natural alternative that is really nice at drying out any kind of redness or pigmentation from your breakouts. And it really helps to heal your blemish a lot quicker, I find. So <clears throat> this was a sample that I received in one of my um, boxes. I believe it was my Petty War box. And I've been using it pretty much like two to three times a week and it's really saved my skin. So. That pretty much does it. So all these products I've been using every day, every night, and I've really kept my skincare system consistent. I'm not trying to chew any new products because I don't want my skin to react. Um, so, so far, these have really helped me during my pregnancy. And if you are pregnant expecting, I hope that these may help you. These are also wonderful for the summer season. So I'm going to list all the products that I mentioned and talked about below. And um, once again, if you have any questions, please comment, please share. If you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye.